What is this thing called freedom? When liberation seems too far a distant dream. What is forward progress when those around us encourage commonality and despise peculiarity? What is a celebration long overdue when economies, policies, and normalcies enjoyed by others come at the hands of your own sacrifice? Who is the victor? What are the spoils in this quest for emancipation? Shall we walk together, children, and not be weary? Shall we walk together, children, and not grow tired? Shall we walk together, children, and never leave another behind? But what of the one with no legs or no will to fight, no voice to call out from any wilderness, no dream to defer any longer? Yet there is light ahead. There is light piercing through the veils of uncertainty, of dis-ease, of division, of defiance, and of oppression. So we cheer. We learn. We grow. We give our best. We expect all to join hands, hearts, and voices in the spirit of our ancestors who sang when the sun beat down on them, who worked while the sun rose and set on the sweat of their brow, who could only hope against all hope that a day like today would come when those who labored would be honored for the work done in earnestness, when those who relented their own stake in society to allow others to prosper on the backs of their toil, expecting nothing in return but a chance to be free, to be freed, to know life in freedom's great land. This is our opportunity. May we capture it. May we embrace it. May we know our role in it. May we highlight our blackness and not be dismissed as separatists. May we share in the moment of light and know it is not an end or a beginning. No, it is a continuation of the toil, the sweat, the quest for liberation of all peoples who suffer. So bless us, O oh God, on the acknowledgement of Juneteenth as a holiday, not as a day not to work, but a day to acknowledge the work behind and ahead. May we commit ourselves to the ideals and activities that advance the cause of equity, justice, mercy, and grace in this life. May we live out of a core of humanity that only knows compassion and care for the least of these. And in our calculations know that whenever and as long as there is a least of these, there in their eyes, hands and voices is a call for repentance, opportunities for reparations and options for renewal. God, great one of heaven and creator of all that is, may your light of love and rays of hope be upon these, your people, this Juneteenth, knowing in this moment, there are those who may finally hear the message of liberation sounded aloud to the captives. Be free, be free, your light has come. Be strong in the Lord, seek peace and pursue it. Give of yourselves without losing your dignity or humanity ever again. Bless this day of celebration and this season of reckoning as we do our business, not as usual, but as liberated people who will study war no more. In the spirit and hope of my ancestors and in the name of God's Son, I offer this Juneteenth prayer and blessing. Amen. <laughs>